Okay, quickly catching up, just wanted to show you guys uh, the section of the desk that we cleaned. We are doing the whole entire desk, so this is going to be the section we're continuing to work on today. Okay, so now we get to this side of the desk, and there's a whole bunch of stuff here. So this all I know is part of my current uh, B journal that I'm working on. So I'm going to put all of these together. Some hiding back here. <laughs> um, and what I'm going to do is I actually have, um, when I'm working on signatures and stuff that haven't fully been put together, I just use um, a gallon size Ziploc and put everything in there. This is the cover that I just made for that journal. If you guys want to see that, that video should be out. And then I just slide this whole thing into my current project shelf. Let me put these away. Oh, I have the book corners for that as well. So I'll put those down in that bag. <clears throat> And again, guys, sorry if I am, um, my chair is squeaking. It's being just awful right now. So this needs to go back with my other inks, which are over there. Um, twine, why do I have a random piece of twine? Oh, right, because I used up the rest of the lace that I had tied around here. Uh, so the twine I'll just put into my uh, scrap lace and string drawer, and then I'll find another use for this or use it for another uh, lace at some other time. Okay, so this is one of my picture laces that I put things on to take pictures of. So I'm gonna put this um, where my other uh, photo background is. Doily, sorry, I know I called that lace, but it's, it's not. I need to clean off my mat here, which is good, because I already have my cleaner. Okay, and then I'm just gonna set this to the side for a minute, um, just so I can work on the rest of the stuff in this area. I don't know where my cover is for these scissors, unfortunately. Actually, you know what? I bet it's down here in this. Am I on screen? Yes, okay. Um, I bet it's at the bottom of this, and this whole thing needs to get reorganized because, I mean, I have my microns and stuff down here, which should not be down here. They should be up in this organizer up here. I'm just realizing that light may be bothering you. Okay, no, it's not on screen. Good. Um, so I have to reorganize this whole thing. Basically, what should be in here is my scissors, my X-Acto blades, and stuff like that. Um, nothing that is pen related or marker related uh, should be in here. These highlighters should be in my other organizer on the other side of the desk. Um, so I'm just gonna quickly separate these out and we'll get those put in their correct spots. So this should actually be with my jewelry making tools, which I do have a spot for. And there is our missing scissor cover. Um, I don't know what to do with this magnifying glass. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm just gonna set it on my, I don't think you can see it from where you are. Oh yeah, you can. Um, that's the, camera mount that I use to hold um, my camera while I record. So I'll just throw that there for now just because I don't know what to do with it. So my highlighters, dry erase, marker, and sharpies should all be in the other container on the side here. 
So these are, except for this one, this is just a regular watercolor pencil. Uh, these are watercolor pencils. So these are the Prismacolor. Um, and then these are the Faber-Castell uh, Graphite. And I do have places for all of these as well. So I'll go ahead and put those away in their place. So all of this stuff is the stuff that I actually want to keep in this gorgeous little kitty tin playing with his ball of yarn. So cute. Um, and it's just uh, some of my most used items. I do keep my one uh, pen in here and then exacto blade. I do like to keep at least one of my spatulas in here. But these are all my most frequently used items. So. And I also keep one pencil in there. So. That's much less crowded now. I'll set it off to the side for a little bit. So I'm basically going to clear this entire area because I want to work on the back as well. Um, so that just needs to get, you know, much, much more organized. These, for the time being, I'm just going to put wherever they'll fit up here. I need to go through all of those and see what markers work, which, which ones don't. And there's actually a couple pens that I'm going to be getting rid of. Um, just because most of that I used for, uh, bullet journaling and I'm not bullet journaling really anymore. So, and this, like I said, this all needs to get reorganized anyway. So I'm just kind of shoving stuff where it'll fit at the moment to get it out of the way. Okay, next order of business. I need to clean my brushes, clean out the water, get fresh water. And uh, while I'm doing that, maybe I can show you guys the awesome um, tub that Rob and his dad set up for me. Okay, so the ground's really uneven in here because of the drain, uh, but they set up this awesome wash basin for me in our utility closet. That way I don't have to traipse all the way upstairs with paint and stuff to get things clean. Um, I can do it all in the basement so I'm not tracking paint and stuff all over the house. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a, a short uh, video of that. So whenever I do anything um, that requires finicky cleanup, like using gold foil or whatever, that's all done in here. Okay, so as you can see, we've got fresh water, um, and I put this in here just so I would remember to bring it back. Uh, this is my paint splatter brush. It gets used all the time, and that actually goes in the little kitten container that we just cleaned out. And then these are also going to get set to the side for now, because like I said, we're going to clear out this whole area. Okay, so I'm also going to move this. Um, there's a couple little doodads in here. These are personal items um, that I haven't decided what to do with yet. So I'm actually going to just leave that there for the moment. Um, but we're also going to move this to the side. Okay, we will quickly just push this all over. Um, and this shouldn't be here. I don't know why it is. I just put it there for safekeeping, I guess. Um, I have a storage place for all these kinds of bags. It's what I use to uh, put my pendants in for sale. Okay, and then behind, this is all a mess of stuff, uh, behind my light here, which I'm gonna move the light as well, um, just not until the very end because it helps with the video quality for you guys. I have just little bits and pieces of stuff. Um, so there's like wood chips in here, there's paper clips, there's pins, um, little clips. This is all a disaster. It all it all needs to be fixed. Um, I have some die cuts in here, some feathers. 
Uh, so the the feathers and the oh the brain sorry the word just went right out of my brain the uh, skeleton leaves uh, these little pieces this is all stuff that I use in my gel printing on a pretty frequent basis so what I'm actually going to do with these is put them all in with my gel printing supplies in a little bag and then we'll figure out what to do with the rest of this okay so what i usually use these bowls for actually is um i'm just going to separate the, out this stuff here i don't want these clips i don't i don't even know where i got them somebody got them for me though um I mean, they're cutesy. Maybe maybe somebody will want them. I'll save them in case someone wants them. Uh, but these I use for my watercolors. If I need to mix a lot of a certain color, then that's what I do. So, okay, these are all my teeny tiny baby die cuts. I have a place for my clip. This is just trash. Okay, collecting more die cuts. I have a place for paper clips. This is actually a protector for one of my paintbrushes, which I think is this one. If it's not, that's where it's going for now. Okay. And then I have a place for these little wood chips too. So both these fabric, oh, oops, there's another one. <laughs> Give it to another paintbrush for safekeeping until I figure out where it belongs. Okay. Okay. There's another one. There's there's literally okay, why are there? I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Um then I have these little pins. They're for my cork board that I use as my inspiration board. So I've got to figure out somewhere to put those. I have a place for the paper clips. More wood chips. Okay. Okay, and then a couple more tiny dies. So I'm actually for the time being going to keep the teeny tiny dies in here. Um, and I have this little resin coaster that I made, so I'll keep that on there for now. These ones I'm going to put back with my watercolor stuff. The clip has a belonging place. This goes with the Tim Holtz ephemera. This is actually a Christmas one, so I'll put it with the Christmas stuff, which... I don't think you can see it at the moment. No, you can't. Um, so over actually on top of my printer, I have a current uh, Christmas project that I'm working on with Tim Holtz. So I'll put this over there. All right, I randomly see that I have a book plate here. The book plate goes with the hardware. Okay, and that's a good portion of the dust clean. I'm going to go ahead and give it a quick wipe down. Okay, I clearly hadn't done that in a while, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and move you guys over a little bit more so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. Okay, so we're getting to the end of it. Um, what I have here is just a lot of stuff that belongs in other places. So I have a place for all of my paints, my Mod Podge, all of that. Um, this back here is actually what I'm supposed to store all of my glue in, so I need to do that. Um, I'm gonna start off by just doing the larger items that have somewhere else to be. However, if it's an item that I'm using currently 
in my main project, I'm going to keep it over to the side. So um, <laughs> just for the record, my acrylic paint stuff is all going to be quite a different ordeal. I have to completely uh, redo all of my mediums, my acrylic paints and everything. So that's definitely going to be another video. But for now, I at least need it off my desk and out of the way and at least slightly where it belongs. Okay, I got my little phone stand here. And that actually just goes over next to my uh, computer screens. The random Posca pen that should be in my acrylic paint marker bin. Okay, and then we get to this. So this is where I'm supposed to keep all of my glue. So in here, I have, whoops. This is retired and old and I can't get it out, so I'm actually just going to throw this one away. Um, this is actually my uh, mini applicator for my 3-in-1. Just Elmer's Craft Bond there. I have my Ohu stick. Ooh, Ohu stick. Ooh, stick. Uh, this is my, whoops, sorry about that. That was probably loud. My 50-50 PVA and water mix. And then my Elmer's glue all and my Barely Art Precision glue. So those are the main glues that I use um, if anyone's ever interested in that. And then I also store my water bottles here. Um, so one fits in there and then one I just kind of hook over the top like that. Um, so that's how that's supposed to be. And we will quickly move this out of the way. Okay, and then here, these are actually supposed to, well, I'm going to have to kind of reorganize it. Um, but basically these used to be up in the same thing that I keep the markers in. So that's actually what I'm going to do right now. And then this coaster is actually supposed to be for my drink, so I'll just set this to the side as well. Okay, so here we're reaching the end of the desk, and I need to find a better place to put my tissues. But for now, I'll just move it off to the side. And then this last container here that you can see, this is all trash. Um, this last container here that you can see, it's my main project bin. So, as you can see by all the colors, and as you saw in my um, inspiration and mood board from the last studio vlog, uh, I'm working with a lot of red, black, gold, that kind of stuff. Um, so, this is already pretty organized because I've been keeping it organized, but... I just need to finagle a few things around. And then I keep all of my most used mediums in here. So I actually just realized I probably want to keep this stuff here so I can at least do the before and after shots for you guys. Um, but for now, again, because I haven't cleaned this area in quite a while, we're going to go ahead and move this. And let's give this a nice little wipe down. Okay. Okay. So now you can see my uh, printer over here. And this is all of the stuff that I'm using to make my uh, Tim Holtz uh, Christmas box. And I'm just going to set this with my other current projects because I will be working on that basically as soon as I get back from vacation. So I want to keep this all together and I'll just put it with my currently working on stash.
Okay, and then also on my printer, I have all these things that I'm still trying to figure out where to put them, what to do with them. Um, and actually I do know where most of these go now, so I'm just gonna quickly put all of these away. Why am I closing it? I don't know, that doesn't make sense if you're trying to put things away. <laughs> Okay, so that is everything uh, cleaned up on the desk. Let me see if I can get you. We still want to work. Um, I think I'm just going to have to make this a separate video, um, but I still need to work on this. And I actually have some pretty exciting ideas. Are they going to work out? I am not sure. Um, but we'll be working on that next. So I'll really quickly just put everything back where it belongs here and uh, show you guys the end result. Okay, so there we have it. I'll try and put the before in here again. Um, just so you can get a better idea of how much better this looks. Look, nothing on top of the printer. There's perfectly clear empty space all over the actual desk itself. The papers that were over there are more organized. And it just looks so much better and so much more peaceful. And all of the bottom, um, I almost said drawers. <laughs> shelves are taken care of all of these shelves are taken care of all of these shelves are taken care of so now my main studio area is back to what it should be and I could not be more happy thank you guys so so much for joining me today um look forward to see what I'm gonna figure out to do over with that window and yeah I'll see you guys in the next one bye